Hey there, it's Jim Wood with your 90 seconds of wisdom. So December is the time for freezing. We don't want to be freezing normally, but I'm telling you to freeze something, your credit. Why would I tell you to freeze your credit? Because what freezing your credit does is it prevents any unwanted people from opening loans in your name. Uh, that's a good thing when you're trying to keep people from stealing your identity. It doesn't prevent identity theft, but it certainly slows it down. I didn't used to tell people to freeze their credit, but I'm now telling people to do that. How do you do it? Well, you go to one of the th all the three of the credit port agencies. You have to go each individually, which is Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Okay, and you have to go to each one of them. You can just go to the website and do it. Um, freezing your credit is free. There's no charge to do it. Um, the downside of freezing your credit is that anytime you actually apply for credit, you have to unfreeze your credit. And since you don't know which company the credit lender might be using, you might have to unfreeze all three of them. It's a little bit of a hassle, but frankly, all it is is a, is a press of a button on a website. So I would say that it's still worthwhile to do it. Um, by the way, it does not affect your credit score in any way. Whether your credit is frozen or unfrozen, it has nothing to do with your credit score. So I recommend you go to all three credit reporting agencies. Freeze your credit if you don't need it right now. Unfreeze it when you need it. Freeze it again. Yes, it's a hassle, but it'll save you some big hassles in the long run. So go freeze yourself. Goodbye.